A lot of people are saying that with Angular signals we don't need RxJS anymore, we can fully migrate to signals and remove it completely. But it is not true and in this video I want to show you why RxJS still shines and that we can mix it easily with signals. So here I prepared a small project with a single input. As you can see this is just an input with key up event and here we have a search function. Inside our TS file I just inject HTTP inside our app component and inside search function I simply read a value from the event. I don't do anything at all. Now the question is how we can implement fetching data from the API on initialize and after typing something inside our input with the bones so we are not hitting our API too hard and ignoring all values of submitting that are already there. And this is exactly the case where RxJS shines in comparison with signals, because what we are getting from the signals is simply a state to read and update it, and also a computed which is based on another signals and effect to do something after the signal was modified. This is not what we need for our case here, this is exactly where RxJS can help us a lot. So our first step here will be to create a signal which will store for us a search value. This is why here on the top I want to create search signal and it is just a signal with initial value empty string and here the type will also be string. Now here inside our search function we can set a value here. So this search signal dot set and inside we are providing our value that we read from the event. Which actually means every single time when I am typing something here we are getting key up event and we are setting this search signal. But it is not all we want to make an API call every single time when we are changing our search. The main point is that we can't write this code with signals effectively. But what we have here from the Angular, we have Angular Core RxJS Interop. And this is an additional package which has several methods that are really awesome to use between RxJS and signals. And these two methods that we need is two observable and two signal. And in this case here, first of all, we need to use to observable. Because in order to use RxJS, we need an observable. But here we have search signal, which is a signal, and we want to convert it to observable. So here I want to get back an array of articles. And in order to do that, first of all, I want to call to observable method. And as you can see here, it exposes a value of angular signal as a RxJS observable. So inside to observable, we simply want to throw a signal, and it will create for us an RxJS observable. And it allows us to apply a pipe here with any methods that we want. First of all here I want a debones, for example debones time 300. In this case we won't hit our API too often with every single key up event. After this I want to apply distinct until changed. And it is extremely important because if we are hitting enter every single time without changing an input, we don't want to make an API call, it doesn't make any sense. We already did that. This is why it will simply ignore our submit. And the last thing here that we want is switch map because we want to use here HTTP GET. This is why here I am using switch map and we are getting access to our search value. And here we can call this HTTP and as you can see I injected it on the top, get. And here we must say what we are getting back, it is an array of articles, this is by article interface array. And here inside round brackets we must provide a URL that we want to fetch. But the main point is that inside we must provide a search value. As you can see here I provided inside a string to localhost 3004 slash articles with question mark, title, like and here is my search value. The main point is that inside my project I have a dbjson file and this is just a file to start a fake API. As you can see we have an article field, it is an array of articles with id slug and title and here inside console I have json web server which watches this file and creates an API on localhost 3004 slash articles. This is exactly this URL but additionally we are filtering all our articles by title like which actually means we are looking for this search value to be included inside our title. Which actually means what this code does, it converts our signal to RxJS, we apply here the bones time, distinct until changes, all stuff from RxJS which is really useful and then we are making an HTTP get call. But the main problem is that we are getting here back RxJS observable. 
And we don't want to use observables inside Angular application just because we must write them with the sync pipes and then we're back to Angular with a digest cycle. We don't want that, we want to render signals. This is why here what we can do, we can create one more property and name it articles signal. And here we can use to signal method and we're converting our rxjs this dot articles with dollar to our signal. In this case, article signal is just a signal and not an rxjs stream. We can jump now inside HTML and render a markup for our articles. This is why here ng4 and we're rendering here our article of articles. And inside I just want to render article.title. And actually it is not articles, but article signal. And here we must put round brackets to read the signal value. As you can see here, I don't have any errors. Let's check in browser. And here we are getting the list of our articles from the API. You can see here inside network, we got a request to localhost 3004 slash articles title like and here is an empty string. And it happens because on initialize, the value was set inside this signal and it is an empty string. It was converted to observable. We applied all this code and switch map called our HTTP GET request. Then every single time when we're typing something here, like for example, five, we're making an API call. You can see here inside network, here is API call with title like five which actually means our code is working, we can type something. If we type the title that does not exist, then we don't get anything back. But the main point is that we are getting here at the bones. As you can see, I am typing and typing, but there are no API calls. And additionally to that, if I am typing five, we get just a single request. It doesn't really matter how many times I will hit enter, for example, if the value inside input was not changed, we are not making this request. So as you can see, the mix of RxJS and signals is extremely versatile tool that can improve your applications. And actually, if you are interested to know what are signals and how you can use them effectively, make sure to check this video also.